You're gonna just sit there and tell me that I'm wrong? That I'm wrong? These are so cute. Michelle here and welcome back to my channel and today's video is a good old-fashioned thrift with me and thrift haul. This might look a little bit different. I'm still kind of like tinkering with it trying to figure out what should go where because I got those like really cute teapots up there so I wanted to incorporate that into like the layout. I'm not too sure if I'm 100% in love with this but we will we'll see how it goes. Like I said it is a thrift haul. Thrift with me. I guess we'll just get right into the thrift with me in the thrift stores portion of this video and then we'll come right back and I'll show you what I found. So this was the first thrift store we went to. I didn't find anything in this store. There was a few like neat pieces like this crocheted skirt. My sister actually found a really cute skirt but I didn't find anything at this one. Then we headed over to, you guessed it, Value Village. Started off in the home section. As always, I love looking at the home stuff. I'd rather spend my money on home pieces and home decor stuff rather than clothing. So that's why I always check out this first. Also like you find the best knickknacks here. Now this thrift store had a lot of clowns. Had a lot of clowns. Like do you see how many clowns there are? There's so many clowns at this store. Then I did check out the fabric section. I have to admit the last few months, I haven't really been looking in these sections. And when I have, I haven't really been finding anything that I can see myself using. Yes, I found a few fabric pieces so far this year, but like nothing that screams, take me home. I then moved over to look at the bags. Now I am looking at a new fanny pack, which I think people are calling them belt bags now. Is that like the new term for them? I don't know, I heard it somewhere. Anyways, I'm looking for another one for this summer. I have two, but they're a little small and I want like a bigger one so I can fit more stuff in it. This one was kinda it, but also kinda not because I want it more like how a fanny pack that I can just like cross body in a sense. It's not a, not a purse, if that makes sense. I saw this really nice corduroy jacket. I believe it was vintage. They wanted $18 for it. And like, I was considering it, okay? I was considering it because I loved the look of it, but there was a few stains on the back. So I just, I ended up leaving it. If it was like $6, I probably would have bought it. This sweater here, I was really considering buying it. Like on camera, you can actually visibly make out that there are trees on here. In person, you couldn't really even tell that there was a design and for $10, I, I just couldn't justify buying it. Then I also found this cardigan, which I thought was really cute. It was $16, so that's why I didn't buy it. But there was all these really cute hummingbirds and someone's used Kleenex in it. Didn't touch that. So I did leave it because I couldn't, I couldn't pay $16 for that. If it was a yellow or if it was orange, maybe. I have been finding some really good striped shirts lately. This one, I wasn't too sure about, but like for $6, I think it's a really good find. Then I was looking at the blazers. I think having a nice blazer is great for the spring because it's like a spring jacket, but it's not a jacket. You know what I mean? I did try this one on, but it was a little too big for me. So I did end up leaving it. This vest was kind of cool and I was really considering it, but I keep buying sweater vests and then I never wear the sweater vests. So this one I also left. Then we went to the second value village of the day. horse is that? I did find this duck box, which I thought was really cute, but it was a cigar box. So it probably smelt like cigars. So I didn't pick it up, even though there was ducks on it.
But then I saw this and look, wow, this is straight out of the 90s. No, it's Shein. Like what? I saw this wolf sweater in the men's section and I kind of liked it, but I feel like the wolf was just too far down that if I were to fold it or tuck the sweater in, the wolf would have cut off. So like, like you can clearly tell I did leave it. This is the jacket that I was looking for last year. Remember how last year I was looking for like the perfect jacket? This was it. This, this was the jacket, but I wasn't paying $40 and I don't need it anymore. I did actually look in the men's t-shirt section. Normally I don't look because there's just so many to go through and like nine times out of 10, you don't find anything. But this time, this time I actually did find some things. I saw this vintage Northern Reflections t-shirt and it's gonna shock you, but I didn't buy it. I know I didn't buy it. One, again, blue, not the biggest fan of, but also the neckline was like way too oversized and I prefer like a tighter neckline. Then we headed over to the last thrift store of the day. Now I did not find anything at this thrift store, unfortunately. They did have a bag sale, $10 for the bag. Unfortunately, I didn't find anything I liked. I did see this Northern Reflections jacket, which I thought was pretty cool, but it was blue, so I left it. And then I saw this, oh my goodness, trust me, if this would fit me and it was a little cheaper, I probably would have bought it, but I don't really need a snowsuit. <laughs> I found quite a few things. Also, Value Village has new reusable bags and I am a sucker for reusable bags. One, because of how darling look. Two, I can use them for yarn storage, and three, I can use them for fabric storage. They're just great storage bags because they're so heavy duty that like, if there's a new one, I will buy it because they're just so gosh darn cute. That also goes for the same ones that they sell at uh, Winners and Marshalls and HomeSense. They have some really cute ones. Anywho, let me just get right into what I found. I think I'll do the home departments first because I didn't really find too much in those. One of the first things I found was this here, I know, basic, boring, white. It was $4, it's a candle heater upper. So I guess put the wax melts or pieces of candle that you want to burn and then you plug it in, heats it up and it makes your room smell really nice. Cause here's the thing. I don't like playing with fire cause I'm terrified of it. So I don't like having open flames anywhere. I love the idea of candles. I love the smell of candles. I just don't like the idea of fire. So that's where this comes in. It needs a little cleaning up. I didn't really test if it worked or not yet. So that should be fun. But for $4, I'm like, why not? I've been looking for one of these for like over a year now. If I ever to buy one new, it's probably like $20, right? So I'm like $4, we will risk it all. See if this works. So here's a little update on the candle warmer. It actually works as you can see. I put a candle and like I cut up a candle that I had it was like pear apple and it smells so good this obviously gets a little warm but it's not like overheating or anything like that it works exactly how I need it to work also I figured out to turn it on obviously you have to use this little guy but I didn't know what was on and what was off but when it's off it's white and then you just turn it and when it's red like that it means it's on because there's no light. Usually sometimes there's like a little light that indicates on and off. This one doesn't have it, which I was kind of confused, but you know, I uh, figured it out. For $4 for this, I I think it's, uh, it's a pretty good buy. And then the other thing I did find in the home department, you'll see it and you'll be like, yeah, yeah, you needed to buy that. It was $4, wolves wolves and i think this is like a sun catcher so i think you put this in a window the light will shine on it or maybe you put a candle behind it and the candle will th show through so you can kind of see oh the wolves look really good with the light behind it because they're actually like this blue kind of color if you can kind of see four dollars for wolves yes please sign me up thank you we're just gonna put you guys there for right now i keep buying new knickknacks and i gotta find new places for them pretty much it for the home department didn't really find a lot i will admit there was a lot of clowns. There was a lot of clowns at that store. I got so many good clothing items, except for one. I did buy a pair of pants and that's my fault for buying a pair of pants and thinking they would fit me. They don't, so I have to return them. They were like $15 too, so I was gonna do that today, but I didn't. I wasn't really in a shopping mood today. I actually have to film four different videos today. Usually it's one video, but I have to shoot four videos and I'm like, I don't have time for shopping today. This is video one of the four, so there's still three more videos I gotta shoot today. Enough with my life. Let's just get back into what I thrifted, which you guys are more interested in. Can you blame 
telling me that I found another striped shirt. I don't have this one, okay? I don't have this green, blue, white type of shirt. The price of it was $6. Here's the thing, when it's $6.99, I'm like, oh, that's a little pricey. When it's $5.99, I see that five, and I'm like, oh, it's $5, even though I know it's $6. In my head, it's like, it's only five bucks. So $6 for this, which isn't bad. It's really nice. Pippin wanted to come in, isn't that right? Isn't that right? Say hello to the camera. Oh, she looks so mad. Okay, go in your window. If you hear that jingling in any of my videos, it's my cats. Uh, what was I saying? Oh, yes. So sometimes when you get these types of shirts, sometimes the material is just very heavy or has no stretch to it, which sucks. This one's perfect, and I might have bought it just because of the brand. It's called Northern Spirit. You're gonna tell me that's not from the 90s, early 2000s? I was, like, contemplating, do I need another striped shirt? The answer was always, yes, I need more striped shirts. But I'm like, do I need this one? And then I saw the brand of it, and I'm like, oh, that's, that's kind of vintage-y. I hate calling the 90s vintage, but it is, technically is. Also, I finally went ahead and bought myself a pair of overalls. I've wanted overalls for such a long time, and anytime I would find them at a thrift store, they're always like ripped up, or they're the skinny jean ones, or they're like, you know, from Forever 21. But I did buy a really nice pair of overalls from Old Navy, and they fit really nice, because I had to buy them online, because they didn't have them in store, so I was kind of like worried for a week while I was waiting for them. That's kind of why I'm buying these striped shirts too, because could you imagine me wearing this striped shirt with the overalls? You know what? You don't even need to imagine it. I'll just show it. You're gonna just sit there and tell me that I'm wrong? That I'm wrong? These are so cute. This is actually like also like my first try on. But look how cute these are. They're so cute and there's so many pockets. Like there's pockets up here. There's, you know, regular pockets. Then there's like a secret little pocket down here. Like a leg pocket right there. I feel like a freaking toddler on steroids because I'm a huge toddler. Can you see why I bought this shirt now? How cute this shirt is. I feel like this is going to be like my look for the summer. I know. Summer. You might be thinking, shouldn't you be wearing, um, oh my gosh, it's snowing again. It's raining again. Yeah, I'm talking about summer and it's snowing outside. But yeah, in the summertime, I don't really wear shorts. I'll wear skirts, but I love my pants. Like, regardless, I'll, I'll always wear pants. So overall, I'm over the moon for these overalls. The next item of clothing I bought, this. Look how cute this is. Look how old man grandpa this looks. I paid $8.00. If it's like this and it's old man grandpa, almost looks like maybe from the 80s, 90s, I will pay the price for it because that's my style. So that's the thing. It's like I am now willing to be paying a little bit more expensive prices for things that I know that I'm absolutely going to wear and that I can envision myself wearing. So this for $8, I think is a pretty good buy. Would I like it a little cheaper? I did find it in the woman section, but it's definitely giving me old man vibes. But like Carol Reed, I'm pretty sure is a like a ladies clothing brand. So I don't know, but I just thought this was really cute. When I saw it, I'm like in the cart. I really like how it is kind of like cropped because a lot of times with these, they're a sweater, but they're also a shirt. They're just uncomfortable to tuck in because they're too thick. Sometimes they're just too long and you have to like roll them and it's just uncomfortable that way. I think the only little thing that is bothering me is that the sleeves, like they're not too short, but they are too short. I feel more comfortable comfortable if I were to, you know, do that with them. Whereas like this, I think it's because they are just like a little short, but they're not. And how loose this is, it doesn't really want to stay. So I probably would wear it more likely like this with the sleeves rolled up. The next item my sister actually picked out for me, this. I guess you could probably tell why I bought it right? It was $8.49. I don't know. I'm still kind of debating if I want to keep it or not because I'm already returning the pants. So I might return this as well. The brand is Stranger Things and I think it's, you know, from like Hot Topic or something like that. The size, the size is medium. And the way that the t-shirt quality is, I thought it would fit a little bit looser. I did try it on already because I just wanted to see if it fit me or not. And it's just a little, it's just a little snug. I don't know. I'll show you what it looks like but I did buy it at the same thrift store that I bought. No, I didn't. I actually bought those pants at a different thrift store, so that means I'd have to do two transactions. Ooh, I don't know. Well, I'll try it on and I'll show you. I mean, it is Stranger Things, so I probably will end up keeping it because it's Stranger Things. I like the fit of it, so I wasn't sure tags coming off for keeping it. I want to try it on one more time before I did that. Now there's no going back. I do like how it is more subtle than the other Stranger Things t-shirts I have. The other ones, you know, are a lot more Stranger Things. Whereas this one, it does, it does say Stranger Things, but like, I feel like because it is a little bit more muted, it's not like in your face as much. So I do like this one. I just wish it was like a different material. It's kind of like that stretchy kind of cotton, almost like a jersey. A lot of the other shirts that I have are more like cottony. They don't have much of a stretch. I think this one, I think this one's okay. This one's good. This 
this one's good. Up next is this Vans tie-dye men's shirt. I am a big fan of the brand Vans. I love their shoes so much. I've been wearing Vans Oh, for a really long time. I think before that I wore the knockoff Vans that you would get at Payless, you know, the Payless ones. I had so many of those slip-on Payless Van knockoff shoes. So many of them. Then I'm older, I can afford real Vans. Also, Payless doesn't exist anymore, unfortunately, at least where I live. But yeah, so I picked up this one here. It was $8.49. I'm willing to pay $8.49 for a Vans shirt because it's name brand. Well, it's a name brand to me, okay? If I have to tell you what name brand is to me, it's probably Vans. Um, and that's about it. I don't really follow any other brands. On the back, it just has their slogan of off the wall. I'm not the biggest fan of stuff on the back. It's Vans. They're gonna probably have it somewhere on the shirt. And I can like already envision how I'm gonna wear it this summer. I mean, sure, I'll wear it before the summer, but like this with a high pair of like jeans with some uh, white Vans. Yes. This is what I'm talking about with the high-waisted jeans. I really like the baggier fit or the looser fit of a t-shirt because then I can pull it out just a little bit and just kind of like do that. I don't know. I just like it. Now, one of the things that does actually surprise me about this shirt is that the off the wall, I, I like how it is placed on my back. I like the placement of it. I hate it when it's like just a little thing, but because it kind of covers the entire the entirety of my back. I'm not mad at it. I really do like the fit of it. I like the looseness of it. It's exactly what I want in a t-shirt. Now, the last item, I am so, so excited that I found it. A few days prior to me and my sister going thrifting, I went to Michael's and then I was driving home and then I saw a sign for thrift store and I'm like, so I went to this random thrift store. And when I mean random, I mean it was random. It's like off the highway. You have to park in the back, but to get to the back, you have to like drive into like greenhouses. Like there's a bunch of greenhouses everywhere and you have to drive around. And the day I went, it had snowed. I think it was that day or the day before and there was snow everywhere. I'm like, I don't know where I'm driving. I don't know if I'm on gravel, if I'm on concrete or if I'm on grass. I don't know. But I ended up finding it. They were super nice. It's a kind of a smaller, you know, charity shop type of thrift store. And I didn't really find anything that day, but I did find a sweater and I saw the sweater and I'm like, this is so cute, but it was a size small. And I'm like, there's no way that this size small is going to fit me. So I, I, I didn't buy it. But when me and my sister went thrifting on Saturday, guess what I found? I found this sweater. This is the exact sweater I saw in that thrift store. Now I didn't film in that thrift store because I was the only one in it and there was someone like walking around and I, I didn't want to pull out my phone and film because it's a new thrift store and I wasn't too sure. But this was the exact sweater that I saw at that thrift store. And I think they wanted like $6 for it. And I got this one for five bucks. Can you see how like heartbroken I would have been when that one sweater was too small for me? So the fact that I found this sweater a few days after like my heart was broken because there's cats on it, like there's cats. It was in the aisle. So all I saw was like this, like the white and the red. And I always know like Northern Reflection and those brands, actually this brand is Alia it's that brand when it's these brands i can tell them without having to look through because i'll see like the like the i'll see the double collar and i saw it and i pulled it out. i'm like oh, oh my goodness very glad that i did find this because look how cute the cats are what i forgot to mention before it isn't an extra large and i think a large would have fit me just a teeny bit better but i'm i'm fine with it i love the oversized sweaters and i keep thinking that there's something here and i keep like picking at it and i'm like oh it's part of the design it's a uh, it's just a little bird that the cats are uh they're going after birds isn't it funny that my two favorite creatures cats and birds don't really get along that well i mean sometimes they do but more than likely cats are always chasing birds. <laughs> it is a little bit long. I wish it was, you know, like this. Again, not a big deal. You've seen other videos where I will take the bottom part of this, cut it here, move it up. Kind of like that, which is something that I probably will do. Not anytime soon. I have a lot of other thrift flips that I'm actually currently working on. It's actually one of the other videos that I mentioned earlier that I'm filming. It has cats on it. It has cats on it. That's everything that I bought. I think I picked up some really good pieces. I am devastated about the pants, but the pants are in my car because I have to return them. So I didn't show them. And I'm not doing a try on because they just don't fit. I think that does it for this video. If you're new to my channel, like sewing, thrifting, crafting, and crocheting, why not hit the subscribe button? You can also follow me on my Instagram and my TikTok. I think that is it. See Y'all have a good day now.